everyone, welcome back to the channel. Did you know that October 2024 has been the wildest month for AI video tools? First, Runway surprised everyone with its 3D video conversion feature. Then, Kling dropped version 1.5, introducing Motion Brush for localized animation adjustments. And just recently, Halio AI, a free and unlimited tool, launched its image to video functionality. So much cool stuff! Today, we're going to take a closer look at which of these three tools is the best when it comes to converting images into videos. We'll compare them based on factors like generation quality and speed, helping you pick the AI tool that fits your needs. Buckle up, let's get started. Before we dive in, just a quick heads up. If you're unfamiliar with these tools, check out the links in the description below for detailed guides and tutorials on each AI tool. We've also covered them in previous videos. So make sure to subscribe to our channel to stay up to date with the latest in AI tech. Now let's kick off today's review. First, we'll use Flux 1.1 Pro to generate four images in different styles. Then we'll upload the same prompts to each AI tool and compare their generation speeds and quality to help you clearly see the differences. First up, we generated a photo of Elon Musk using AI and then created videos using Kling AI, Halo AI, and Gen 3. In terms of quality, Halo AI came out on top not only syncing the lip movements, but also avoiding any distortion in the image. However, Halo AI took five minutes to generate. Kling AI took six minutes, while Gen 3 only needed 30 seconds. Next, let's check out the second image. In terms of image quality and smoothness, Halo AI was once again the winner, despite a brief black screen, which was likely used as a transition. Kling AI's clarity dropped significantly, making it hard to see the details, while Gen 3 simply zoomed in on the image. As for generation speed, there's no doubt Gen 3 is the fastest, clocking in at 40 seconds while the other two took 5 minutes each. Now, onto the third image, an astronaut working in space. The prompt was gradually zooming out. In this case, Halo AI did an impressive job, while Kling AI and Gen 3 only made simple changes that didn't really stand out. For the final test, to keep things fair, we didn't use any prompts and just let the tools generate freely. The results, without a prompt, the outputs all looked quite similar, mostly showing basic camera movements. If we had to pick a winner here, Kling AI had a slight edge. That wraps up our comparison. So which AI tool is the best in your opinion? When it comes to quality, Halo AI consistently performed better than Kling AI and Gen 3, but it lagged behind Gen 3 in terms of speed. While all three tools are free, you might experience longer wait times due to queuing, so the speed could vary. The links to all these tools are in the description below, so if you're interested, give them a try. That's it for today's video. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel, and let us know in the comments which AI tools you'd like to see us compare next. See you next time.